I originally did a live audio recording to go with this footage, but it wasn't focused enough for how I want this video to be, so I wrote a script and I hope you enjoy it. My goal is to show the best and most reliable way to get powdered silver for crafting. This can be a good way to make money or to just get your gear set completed. You may already know that you get the powder from salvaging green or better gear. Gear drops are unreliable and bound equipment only gives you bound materials. I want to be able to turn that powder into even more silver than I started with, so I'm trying to use unbound equipment in this video. You don't want to use blue equipment because that drives up the individual cost of each powdered silver that you get uh, to a significant degree. Although it is great for gold dust if you're trying to craft an epic schematic instead. The most reliable and cheapest NPC sources of green equipment would be the horse armor vendor uh, at the stables. If you want bound materials, just buy the gear with bronze instead of silver and the video is the same otherwise. If you want unbound materials so that you can craft unbound gear and then sell that gear on the market, uh, you want to uncheck the buy with bronze first box and use silver instead. It'll say something like you don't have enough bronze to complete the transaction, just ignore that and you can continue and get unbound gear. I bought 100 of each green horse armor and salvaged all of them to get a rough estimate of what you might expect. Please be aware this is heavily RNG reliant and 100 of each item is not a significant sample size. I also organized the data by the type of armor in case they are coded to provide similar amounts of powder per type, so I grouped saddles with saddles, chanfroms with chanfroms. This entire video cost about 500,000 silver and 160,000 bronze between buying and then salvaging fees. I'm going to highlight the cheapest, the fastest, and the worst gear to salvage. The cheapest powder was from the saddles, with 200 saddles purchased for 100,000 silver. I got 63 powdered silver from that. And that's a hit rate of about 31% and a cost of uh, 1,587 silver uh, per powdered silver. The fastest and most expensive was the tax, which cost about 200,000 total and provides 95 powder with a 47% hit rate. The net cost of that is going to be about 2,100 silver each. With salvaging costs included, you're looking at a 1905 combined currency per powdered silver from saddles and 2316 from tax. That's important because tax are barely the most expensive overall when you combine silver and bronze together. Because you need to salvage far fewer tax to get more powdered silver, you save a lot of bronze and salvaging fees. The next most expensive is leg guards at $22.95 compared to the tax $23.16. That's only 21 combined currency cheaper. If you're able to sell your leftover tertiary crafting materials at market minimum, you make a lot of your money back. In fact, I estimated that if I sold everything, including the powdered silver I got, I'd make about 140 to 150,000 silver profit and only lose about 160,000 bronze to do it. All of the other resources I salvage sell at market minimum values. The table is on the screen now for those prices. The item with the most tertiary value, meaning the least currency loss per salvage, was actually the saddles again and specifically the riveted saddle had the best return on investment for me, with a loss of only 18.5k combined currency, followed by the chanfroms at around 20 to 23k uh, per. This means you can fairly easily convert bronze to silver via salvaging fees and at a fairly low loss rate. It does require an initial investment of silver, as well as people buying your crafting materials off of the market. My preference is to use them for crafting and to try to turn a profit on the actual crafting rolls, which I might go over in a future video. The worst gear to salvage overall was the leg guards. It took massive losses in tertiary materials, around uh, 37 to 39k per 100, while costing uh, 2.5k to 3k per powdered silver you got. I would highly recommend using saddles if you don't care about losing a little bit more bronze and saving a bit more silver. If you want to get them quickly and you don't want to lose a lot of bronze doing it and you don't care about your silver, use tax for sure because you will get the silver the fastest and at the least bronze cost to you, uh, although they do have a high combined cost because of the 1k silver. I hope you learned a lot here. Let me know if you want to see more content like this.